good morning to everybody yesterday we discussed the adjective now today we have discussed here preposition preposition is a part of speech we learn the part of speech in the previous here preposition preposition is a word to show the relation between the two words is called the preposition preposition is a word to show the relation between the two words is called the preposition this is a definition here which are the preposition we are discuss here in on between among out for from since through beside within into without about with by to and after these are the prepositions these preposition these words are we call the preposition and these preposition always show the always show the relation between the two words always show the relation between the two words when we have to learn the relation between the two words that words we call the preposition which are the preposition then anybody ask then you will tell that in on between among out for from since through beside within into without about with by to and after these are the preposition this preposition we have to discuss with the examples first example we are taking that in we write the first example in its meaning in this is a one prepositions when we use this in in marathi at madhe but kiwa at cha at cha at means if any and the if any other conditions the time we are putting in a particular things the time we are using the in for example he is he is sitting in the class in the class he is sitting in the class here in is a preposition here in is a preposition and preposition always write before the noun prepositions always write before the noun one word has given then pre pre manje purva pre cha meaning ka hota purva agodar preposition position cha meaning hota conditions पोजिशन मीनिंग का होता कंडीशन मे एखाद कंडीशन या अगोदर जो शब्द वपरला जो अपन का प्रीपोजिशन मीन्स प्री पोजि प्री पोजिशन प्रेपोजिशन मीन्स द रिनेशन बिट्वीन द टू वर्ड्स इज कॉल द प्रेपोजिशन ही इज अ सीटिंग इन द क्लास हियर वी राइट द इन इन इज अ प्रेपोजिशन मे तो मुलगा क्लास मधे बसून है कुठे बसून है तो क्लास मधे बसून है क्लास या आतम भागा मधे बसून है अर्थ असा कि इन इज ऑलवेज यूज इन दीज कंडीशन इन द क्लास सेकेंड वी राइट ही इज राइटिंग अ लेटर इन द ऑफिस इन द ऑफिस लिशन ही इज राइटिंग अ लेटर इन द ऑफिस हियर ऑल्सो इन इज अ प्रेपोजिशन्स ही इज राइटिंग अ लेटर इन द ऑफिस मजे तो ऑफिस पत्र लिहत है मजे एक स्पेशल ऑफिस है तो ऑफिस बसून तो पत्र लिहत है मजे एखाद वस्तु आतम है ये जर दाखवाएं तो अशा वे अपन इन का वपर करू शको इट्स मीनिंग इज दैट इन इज अ प्रेपोजिशन लिशन बोथ प्रेपोजिशन वी हैव टू राइट हियर बिफोर द नाउन क्लास इज अ नाउन ऑफिस इज अ नाउन मीन्स Before the noun, we are always use the preposition. That meaning is here relation between the two words. Here are the relations: class, office, nouns. Here sitting and writing both are sitting. When sitting is a one word, class is also one word. Between the two words, we are using the in. Its meaning is that sitting is a one action and class is a noun. Between the two words, we have to show the relations. Here also writing and office. Writing is a one word and office is a second word. Between the two words, we are using the in. Here also later is a noun. Between the two words, we are using the in. But later and office. 
both the words show the relations therefore we are using the in its meaning is that is that in always use for the prepositions second we have to discuss here on cha were on it is a preposition this preposition has written here with the examples first example is that collect the books collect the books on the table collect the books on the table here on the table म्हणजे एखादी वस्तू जर आपल्या टेबल वर जर ठेवलेली असेल तर अशा वेळच्या वर म्हणजे एखादी वस्तू टेबल असेल त्या टेबलवर एखादी अशी वस्तू ठेवलेली असेल आणि त्या टेबल अगदी जळून चिपकलेली असतील अशा वेळेस आपण ऑनचा वापर करत असतो दिसन कलेक्ट दी बुक्स ऑन दी टेबल ऑन दी टेबल ऑन दिस इज अ प्रेपोजिशन बुक्स इज अ नाऊन अँड टेबल असो नाऊन बुक्स अँड टेबल्स वॉट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन द बुक्स अँड टेबल हु हु टेल ऑन वर्ड धीस वर्ड टेल द रिलेशन बिटवीन द बुक्स अँड टेबल दे आर फोर वी कॉल द प्रेपोजिशन सेकंड ही पुट पुट अ पे ऑन द टेबल he put a pen on the table here we write here on this word means on this word is a this word is a preposition pen is a noun and table also noun both the words and what is the relation between the two words these words we show with a on and therefore on we call the prepositions then another we write the between between it is a preposition between it is a preposition this preposition we are always use between two words between two places two things two persons between it is also preposition this preposition we are always use between two words जे दोघामध्ये एखाद्या व्यक्ती असेल अशा वेळेस आपण वापर करत असतो किंवा दोन वस्तूमध्ये एखादी नवीन वस्तू असेल त्याच्यामध्ये आपण वापर करत असतो जे दोघामध्ये एखादी वस्तू असेल किंवा दोन वस्तूमध्ये एखादी वस्तू जर दाखवायची असेल तर अशा वेळेस बिटवीनचा आपण वापर करत असतो फॉर एक्झाम्पल वी आर डिस्कस इयर टीचर टीचर इज स्टँडिंग टीचर इज स्टँडिंग बिटवीन बिटवीन राहुल and priya one example here teacher is teaching between rahul and priya here one example between is a preposition between is a preposition rahul is a one person rahul is a one person and priya is a second person priya is a second person here teacher is standing means third person is a teacher third person is a teacher means this teacher is standing between the two persons that person name is a rahul and priya rahul and priya there are the two persons and between the two persons teacher is a standing teacher is a standing we discuss here teacher ha third person ani main two persons rahul and priya ya dogha cha madamade kon uba hai teacher who is a standing between the two persons teacher is standing means any other things we are showing any other things we are pointed out between the two things that time we are using the between this preposition second is student student is playing playing a football a football between between two girls here also two between is a preposition here also between also preposition student is playing a football between the two girls there are the two girls and between this is a preposition between this is a preposition means any other two persons are there and when we are showing the two person or two things that time we are using the between this preposition here
तस रमेश रमेश इज इज सिटी बिटवीन बिटवीन टीचर एंड मैम लिसन फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर वी राइट हियर रमेश इज सिटी बिटवीन टीचर एंड मैम टीचर इज अ वन पर्सन मैम इज अ सेकेंड पर्सन टीचर इज अ वन पर्सन मैम इज अ सेकेंड पर्सन बट हु इज सिटिंग बिटवीन टू पर्सन रमेश इज सिटिंग बिटवीन द टू पर्सन मीन्स यर सिटिंग इज अ वन वर्ड एंड टीचर एंड मैम द सेकेंड वर्ड्स बिटवीन द टू वर्ड्स बिटवीन द टू वर्ड दे आर शोविंग द सम रिलेशन्स एंड देर फोर वी कॉल द प्रिपोजिशन एंड बिटवीन इज अ प्रिपोजिशन here we write the fourth number prepositions that is a fourth number preposition here among among cha madhe here between फक्त दोघा मध्ये बिटवीन या प्रिपोजिशनचा वापर केव्हा केला जात असतो फक्त दोघा मध्ये एखादी वस्तू दाखवायची असेल तर प्रिपोजिशन बिटवीनचा वापर केला जात असतो अमोंग दोन पेक्षा जास्त व्यक्ती असतील दोन पेक्षा जास्त व्यक्ती असतील दोन पेक्षा जास्त प्लेसेस असतील दोन पेक्षा जास्त थिंग्स असतील तर अशा वेळेस तुम्हाला अमोंगचा वापर करावा लागतं लिसन टीचर इज प्लेईंग अ फुटबॉल फुटबॉल अमोंग दे स्टुडंट्स among the students here for example i have given there teacher is playing a football among the students among the students here we write the among these students students there is not only one or two students more students are there many students are there if there are the many students if there are the many thing that time we are showing the only one things here teacher is the only one person teacher is only one person and students there are the many students not only one or two students many students are there among the many students who is playing teacher is playing who is playing teacher is playing therefore we call among is a prepositions second sunita is sunita is playing कबड्डी सुनीता इज प्लेइंग कबड्डी अमोंग अमोंग मेनी बॉईज फॉर एग्जाम्पल आय गिवन देअर सुनीता इज प्लेइंग कबड्डी अमोंग मेनी बॉईज हियर मेनी बॉईज इफ वी डिस्कस द मेनी बॉईज इफ वी डिस्कस द मेनी बॉईज दॅट टाइम देर आर नॉट ओनली वन ऑर टू बॉईज देर आर द सो मेनी बॉईज आर देअर more than 7 more than 6 more than 5 its me its meaning is that there are the many boys but who is playing sunita is playing means sunita is only one person boys are there are the many persons among the many things among the many persons that time we are using the one things or we are showing the one things that time we are using the among this preposition then we discuss here out नंबर फाइव आउट आउट मीन्स बाहर हियर आउट इज ऑल्सो प्रेपोजिशन आउट इज ऑल्सो प्रेपोजिशन दिस प्रेपोजिशन वी आर यूजिंग वेन वी आर यूजिंग द प्रेपोजिशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव गिवन टू यू ही इज स्टैंडिंग ही इज स्टैंडिंग ही इज स्टैंडिंग आउट ऑफ द क्लास he is standing out of the class here one example i have given there he is standing out of the class out is a preposition out is a preposition here we discuss here out out is a preposition why we say the preposition because this preposition we have written before the noun and also the standing this is the one action and 
class this is a second noun between the two ac one actions and one nouns we are showing the relations and therefore we call the preposition preposition out in this way we discuss here in on between among and out another preposition means for from since this preposition now we discuss here this preposition is that for for this is also preposition this preposition always used for the reasons this preposition always used for the any other conditions for example cha karita cha karita or if we are showing the short period if we are showing the particular or short period that time we are also using the uh, for for to show short period for example i have given here i purchased i purchased a new book for study for example i have written there i purchased a new book for study for for this is a preposition i purchased a new book for study for study this is a preposition but when we discuss here to show the short period one and second is a cha karita manje if we are showing the reasons also here we show the reasons for study the abhyas karita i purchased a new book for study manje abhyas karna karta mi ek navin pustak khareedi kela its meaning is that for is a preposition second he purchased he is buying a book for for giving for giving his friends this is one example i have given there he is buying a book he is buying a book for giving his friends here for giving his friend mujhe tancha mitrala pustak dena sathi tane ek pustak vikat ghetlela ahet its meaning is that he is buying a book for giving his friends for is a preposition sometimes we are using this preposition for to show short periods short periods we discuss here he worked he worked in the company company for 2 years listen he worked in the company for 2 years for 2 years that is a short period for 2 year that is a short period for here we use for the short period therefore we call the for this is a preposition for this is a prepositions now we discuss here another preposition that is a from from also this is a prepositions this is a very easy preposition from for from and since these three preposition meaning is the same but using is a different its use is a difference listen from here pasu with a one example he travel he travel from hinganghat from hinganghat sorry from nagpur nagpur to hinganghat listen he travel from nagpur to hinganghat means here he travel from he travel from nagpur to hinganghat means from means pasu from the meaning kya hota pasu je to nagpur pasun hinganghat parent kya karto pravas kela tani 
नागपूर पासून हिंगणघाटपर्यंत प्रवास केला इट्स मिनिंग इज दॅट म्हणजे एखादी गोष्ट दाखवायची असेल त्यापासून दाखवायची असेल तर अशा वेळेस आपण फ्रॉमचा यूज करू शकतो सेकंड एक्झाम्पल वी राईट हिअर ही केम ही केम हिअर फ्रॉम हिज हाऊस हिज हाऊस टू माय होम For example, I have given there, he came here, he came here from his house to my home. So, he came from my house to my home, and he came from my home. So, he came from my home to my home. From his house, he came from his home. From his house, its meaning is that, he came from his home. Means from, this is the preposition. Another preposition we have to discuss here, since, since also preposition, but when we have to show the particular time, particular periods or particular date or particular place, that time we are using the since to show the particular, to show the particular, particular place, time, or any other things or any other things we write here one example he is working he is working in the company in the company since since 1st january 1st january to 31st december december 2020 for example we have right here he is working in the company since 1st january to 31st december 2020 the meaning is given here since since he is a preposition but he show the particular period particular time here first january first january 2020 or we are writing 2019 that is the particular short period we have given there and also particular date has given there therefore this preposition we have to use here second we write here he taught He taught a lesson since second February, second February two thousand eighteen to third February, so third March two thousand eighteen. Here he taught a lesson. He taught a lesson since second February 2018 to third March 2018. That is a particular short period. That is a one month period he has described. And there is a particular date from this date, second March. Second March. From this second March, he had taught here third March. And therefore, we have to use the particular time, particular period therefore we write the since in this way we have to discuss here for from and since both the meaning third prepo three prepositions meaning is the same but his use is a according to the condition that is a different now we discuss here another preposition that preposition is true through this is a one preposition through is a preposition when we are using this preposition cha madhun in marathi cha madhun for example i have given there he throw the ball he throw the ball through 
through the window. For example, I have given there, he throw the ball through the window. Through is a preposition. Through is a preposition. He throw the ball through the window. Window, जे एक खिड़की आस्ते, त्या खिड़की मधुन जर एकादी वस्तु जर फिकली आस्तील, कि वे एकादी वस्तु असेल, एकादी, एकादी इसी घटक असेल, कि एकादा प्लेस असेल, अंत्या प्लेस मधुन जर एकादी वस्तु जात असेल, तर अशा सप्लेला थ्रू चा वापर करते हैं तर. जे he throw the ball through the window. Second example we write here. The children, the children throw the chalks, chalks through the through the door. Second example we have right here. The children throw the chalks through the door through the door means here the children is a subject here children is a subject and throw is a verb chalks is a noun and throw is a preposition throw is a preposition throw is a preposition means this throw is a preposition manje muladi chalks darwaja madhun phekla door madhun phekla its meaning is that throw is a preposition in this way we discuss here throw from and since also another preposition we have to discuss here that preposition is that preposition is beside Beside. Its meaning is a Marathi cha bajula. Listen. He is standing. He is standing beside beside me. For example, I have given there. He is standing beside me. Beside me means cha bajula. तो उबा है, कुटे उबा है, माझा बाजूला। मुझे एकाधी वस्तु, दूसरे वस्तु चा बाजूला दर्ट हुई लस्तील, अच्छा वेस अपन बिसाइड या प्रीपोजिशन चा वापर करो शक्तो। सेकेंड एग्जांपल वी राइट हियर, ही वर्क, ही वर्क बिसाइड, बिसाइड रमेश for example, we have given there, he worked beside Ramesh. He worked beside Ramesh. Tani kaam kila. Kuna cha bazula kaam kila? Ramesh cha bazula kaam kila. Means beside means cha bazula. Besides meaning kaya hota? Cha bazula. It's when we are using beside means ekhadi vastu dar thibli lastil. Kewa ekhadiya vastu cha bazula dar abdala kaam karaj dasil. Kewa ekhadiya bazu ekhadiya ठिकाणच्या बाजूला जर काम करायचं असेल तर अशा वेळेस आपण बिसाइडचा वापर करू शकतो देन वी आर यूजिंग द विद इन विद इन टू शो द पर्टिकुलर बिफोर द पर्टिकुलर पीरियड द पर्टिकुलर बिफोर द पर्टिकुलर पीरियड विद इन वी आर विद इन इज आल्सो प्रीपोजिशन तो एकादे पर्टिकुलर टाइम दिले लास्ते अनित्या पर्टिकुलर टाइम चा अगुदर जर आपले जर काम पुनः होता सेल तो अशा वेस अपन विदिन याश प्रीपोजिशन वापर करो शक्तो। पर एग्जांपल आह गिवन देर ही रिटर्न ही रिटर्न विदिन फाइव मिनट्स ही रिटर्न विदिन फाइव मिनट्स he returned within 5 minutes. Here within is a preposition. 5 minutes. Maje to pass minta nantra vapa sala paje. Parentu to pass minta cha agodras vapa chita sil. Ek vishista period dila sil. And tap period cha agodras and apla the kap puna huta sil. Then asha ves upon within cha vapa karushakto. Then second, he raged. He raged at the mountain. 
माउंटेन विद इन विद इन टू आवर्स वन एग्जाम्पल वी हैव गिवन देअर ही रेज एट द माउंटेन तो पर्वता चढ़ला हे रेज एट द माउंटेन तो पर्वता चढ़ला विद इन टू आवर्स विद इन टू आवर्स दोन ता अगोदर मजे माउंटेन वढ़ने अपने दोन तास लगत होते ही अगोदर तो तिथे तो पोचला देर फोर वी यूज विद इन धीज प्रिपोजिशन बिफोर दिस He रेज at the mountain within टू hours. Then next preposition we discuss here without. Without. चा शिवाय चा शिवाय With right without. मजे एखादी वस्तु नसता नहीं सुधा इट्स मीनिंग इज दैट विदाउट ही He went to market. He went to market without without money. Listen. He went to market without money. He went to market without money. Without is a preposition. Without is a preposition. He went to market without money. मजे जर आप मार्केट में जाए तो अपने का ही वस्तु खरे करना पैशा की गरज आती अशा वेस अपन बिना पैशा ने मजे पैसे नस्ता सुधा मार्केट जर गए तो अशा वेस अपने को प्रकार की वस्तु खरे करता नहीं मजे चाशिवा एखादी वस्तु नस्ता सुधा एखादी वस्तु नस्ता सुधा मे चाशिवा फॉर एग्जाम्पल ही वेन टू मार्केट विदाउट मनी सेकेंड एक्जाम्पल वे राइट हियर We reach. We reach in the exam hall. In the exam hall. Exam hall without without hall ticket. Without hall ticket. Listen. We write here. We reach in the exam hall without hall ticket. मजे आम चकड़े hall ticket नाश्ता नहीं सुधा. आमी कुटे post लाये exam hall में दी post लेला. Its meaning is that without मी चाशिवा एकाधी वस्तु नाश्ता नहीं. एकाधी वस्तु नाश्ता नहीं. असा जब आपले वापर करता सेल तावर्स आपले ला without या preposition सा वापर करता इतर. In this way we discuss here through. Beside, within, and without. Now we discuss about the another preposition that is the about. One preposition is there about. Cha badal. When we have to discuss any other things. when we have to discuss any other persons when we have to discuss any other places that time we are using this about for example he is discussing about about the exam for example we write here he is discussing about the exam मीन्स वी राइट हियर प्रिपोजिशन अबाउट अपन कशा बदल विचार करता आहो कशा बदल चर्चा करता आहो एक्जाम बदल अपन कशा बदल चर्चा करता आहो एक्जाम बदल मजे ज्या घटका विषय कि ज्या घटका बदल अपन चर्चा करता है तो अगोदर अपन अबाउट हे प्रिपोजिशन लिखू शको लिसन हे इज डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एक्जाम देन अनादर एक्जाम्पल टीचर टीचर टॉट आस taught us about about money listen for example we write here teacher taught us about money we underline here about about is a preposition teacher taught us शिक्षकाने आपल्याला शिकवलं काय शिकवलं इंग्रजी इंग्लिश मॅथ सायन्स नो हिअर वी लर्न हिअर ओनली मनी म्हणजे पैशाविषयी शिकवलं आपल्याला अपने इतर विषय न शिकवता कशा विषय शिकले पैशा विषय इट्स मीनिंग इज दैट टीचर टॉट अस अबाउट मनी 
टीचर टॉट अस अबाउट मनी मजे पैशाबल आप शिकवल ताबल आप अबाउट मीन्स अबाउट दिस इज अ वन प्रेपोजेशन्स वी आर यूजिंग चा बदल वेन वी हैव टू डिस्कस दैट टाइम अनादर प्रेपोजिशन इज दैट विथ अनादर प्रेपोजिशन इज विथ विथ मी चा बराबर इज अ कंपनी Another preposition we write with cha sobat with a company we we say that with a company listen i am going i am going to school with my friends with my friends वन एक्झाम्पल वी राईट हिअर आय एम गोईंग टू स्कूल विथ माय फ्रेंड्स हिअर विथ च्या सोबत च्या विथ अ कंपनी अ कंपनी आय एम गोईंग टू स्कूल विथ माय फ्रेंड्स मी माझ्या मित्रांसोबत जात आहे मी माझ्या मित्रांसोबत जायचं आहे म्हणजे किंवा आपण एखाद्या व्यक्तीसोबत जात असेल किंवा एखाद्या वस्तूसोबत जर जात असेल तर अशा वेळेस आपण विथ या प्रेपोजिशनचा वापर करत असतो देन सेकंड एक्झाम्पल वी राईट he reached he reached there with his friend his father for example we write here he reached there with his father with his father here we write to tithe pohosla pan kunala sobat pohosla tyacha vadila sobat here we write here with his father his father its meaning is that its meaning is that with mhanje kay hota cha sobat mhanje cha sobat kiwa ekhadya vyakti sobat jayche asel kiwa ekhadya ghatka sobat jayche asel tar asha vas apan with ya preposition cha vapar karit asto then we write here after after this is also preposition after it's also preposition its marathi meaning nantar च्या नंतर किंवा नंतर फॉर एक्झाम्पल ही रिच ही रिच देअर ही रिच देअर आफ्टर फाईव्ह मिनिट्स लेट्स फाईव्ह मिनिट्स लेट लिसन ही रिच देअर आफ्टर फाईव्ह मिनिट्स लेट म्हणजे तो तिथे पोहोचला किती मिनिटांनंतर पाच मिनिटाच्या नंतर पाच मिनिट लेटच्या नंतर तो तिथे पोहोचला हे रेज देअर आफ्टर फायव्ह मिनिट्स आफ्टर फायव्ह मिनिट्स आफ्टर इज अ प्रेपोजिशन आफ्टर इज अ प्रेपोजिशन अनादर एक्झाम्पल स्टुडंट्स स्टुडंट सॅट डाऊन आफ्टर टीचर टीचर केम इन द क्लास टीचर केम इन द क्लास लिसन स्टुडंट साइड डाऊन आफ्टर टीचर केम इन द क्लास जेव्हा टीचर क्लासमध्ये आले तेव्हा स्टुडंट खाली बसले स्टुडंट साइड डाऊन आफ्टर टीचर केम इन द क्लास इन दिस वे वी हॅव टू डिस्कस द डिफरंट टाईप ऑफ प्रिपोजिशन्स फॉर एक्झाम्पल्स इन ऑन बिटवीन अमॉंग आउट फॉर फ्रॉम सेन्स थ्रू बिसाईड विद इन इन टू विदाउट अबाउट वे बाय टू अँड आफ्टर दीज आर ऑल द प्रिपोजिशन अनादर प्रिपोजिशन ऑल्सो हिअर बट वे डिस्कस हिअर सम प्रिपोजिशन इट्स डेफिनेशन इज अ व्हेरी इझी प्रिपोजिशन इज अ वर्ड टू शो द रिलेशन बिटवीन द टू वर्ड्स इज कॉल्ड द प्रिपोजिशन वेन यू आर ऑब्झर्व ऑल द प्रिपोजिशन दॅट टाईम धीज प्रिपोजिशन शो द रिलेशन बिटवीन द टू वर्ड्स इज कॉल्ड द प्रिपोजिशन इन दिस वे वी हॅव टू लर्न हिअर यू विल डिस्कस अँड यू विल लर्न ऑल्सो थँक्यू सो व्हेरी मच